Let me tell you a little story about how Spotify solved their cross-platform app problem. In 2018, Spotify had two very different applications. They had a full-feature desktop app and a lightweight web player. The web player was built with React. The desktop app was built with a variety of different technologies. It was a series of standalone apps running in iframes within the CEF, which is a C++ framework. You can imagine the difficulty those React devs had when they went to try and reproduce features between the two platforms. The best solution would be to converge the two platforms into a single code base. But you can't just ship a React app as a desktop app. Desktop apps need a specific framework to function as a standalone native app. So they decided to build a single set of web components that would live inside a UI component library that would be consumed by both applications. They used the web player as the code base foundation. It was delivered continuously so users get changes right away. The biggest difficulty was embedding the UI elements into the existing desktop container framework. The desktop app needed unique support for certain features like downloading and offline playback which didn't exist in the web player. So they built a set of TypeScript platform APIs to support key functions like the music library, playlists, and song playback. So accessing these functionalities was platform agnostic. They would have bindings for web or native depending on where it was running. So now, no matter what app it is, all components are accessing the same backend with a little technical gray area to make sure both apps run smoothly. A pretty cool solution to the age-old cross-platform problem.